Hi friends, I'm Dave Barclow, pastor at Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our minds on the things of God. This Holy Week, uh, the second day uh, of Holy Week, uh, we once again focus our attention on Jesus uh, as he's been betrayed uh, in, in the Garden of Gethsemane by Judas and has now been brought to the religious leaders of his day. I'm going to be reading Mark chapter 14, verses 53 through 65. Then they took Jesus to the high priest, and all the chief priests, the elders, and the scribes were assembled. Peter had followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest, and was sitting with the guards, warming himself by the fire. Now when the chief priest and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false, te false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point, their testimony did not agree. And then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. And the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and the coming with clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. Some began to spit on him, to blindfold him, to strike him, saying, Prophesy. The guards also took him over and beat him. Here the religious leaders of Jesus' day try and find some semblance of something against him. They want some air of legitimacy around the trial, around their sentencing Jesus to death. Uh, they So much so that there's false testimony that they listen to. And, and finally, out of exasperation, the chief priest is kind of like, Okay, Jesus, um, you've had lots of this testimony, and even though it doesn't make sense, what are they accusing you of? Jesus doesn't answer him. I don't... I don't know what he would have said otherwise, you know. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. But yet, uh, the chief priest asked Jesus the question, and Jesus doesn't lie. Jesus doesn't sin. That's part of who Jesus is. So when the chief priest asked him a direct question about who he is, Jesus gives him the actual answer. And instead of the high priest pausing for a moment and thinking, what if Jesus is right? What if he's telling the truth? He automatically just discounts it because it goes against his preconceived notions of, of who God is and what God is doing in the world. So much so that they allow him to, to say that this is blasphemy and turn Jesus over to death. Sometimes we can be the same, though. We can have our preconceived notions. We can have our thoughts about the way the world should be. Even when God might be trying to teach us something, might be trying to lead us somewhere else, might be trying to, to show us something uh, new that we haven't considered about his kingdom or about his word. I'm not saying making up new things, absolutely not. But I am saying that sometimes we have been misunderstanding and the Holy Spirit will move and teach us and lead us. The question is, is will we allow our preconceived notions to be challenged and think maybe God is in this? Or will we dismiss it because we don't want to deal with it? and call it blasphemy, and once again sentence the Spirit in our own world, in our own life, to die. Friends, we don't want that. We definitely don't want to travel down every flight of fancy, but we also want to be sensitive to the Spirit and know that God still works and still teaches us today. Remember, friends, I love you. Take care of yourselves and shine the light of Christ.